Win the Furrow programming on Ag Day is sponsored by Zyway brand fungicides from FMC. Get season-long systemic disease protection from the inside out, from root to tassel and stalk to leaf. Go long with Zyway brand fungicides. It may be winter, but there's no time like the present to start working towards spring planting. Today, Missy Bauer shares thoughts on how good tillage practices can help win the furrow in Corn on Corn. What are some of the things we're looking for for a corn on corn tillage tool? We're seeing a cornfield here uh, that ran 250 to 280, so a lot of residue. It's harvested three days ago, so it's really fresh residue, and we're able to get it through this machine. So one of the things that's helping us out with this particular tool is the front end here. We got some very aggressive blades on the front that's really helping to size the residue. Now this, the depth I run these is controlled hydraulically. I can do that from the can. So for me, I don't really want to run these any deeper than I have to. I run them deep enough to size residue to make it flow. So this is one of the first adjustments I make is going to be setting this depth where I want it to make sure I can cut enough residue to help it flow through the bag. And as I come back into the shanks themselves, I do like to see something fairly parabolic like we got here. So if we have more of a straight shank, uh, it's going to have a tendency to not flow the residue as well. So if I'm running a bean stubble all the time, I could take a little bit straighter of a shank and be just fine. But into this corn residue, especially a high yield residue, we'll have a tendency to do a lot better job with more of a parabolic like we have here. Now for me, I still want to not sacrifice shatter shank to shank. So in this particular tool uh, from Great Plains, the Max Chisel, these shank spacings are still on 15 inch center. So I really like to keep that 15 or 16 inch center to make sure that I do shatter shank to shank. The other thing that'll help with the shattering, of course, is running kind of a narrow two inch point like I got here, but having these wings on there. So it's a seven inch wing on here just to help give that cross shatter in between. Now, when you're in corn on corn, you gotta make sure coming out the back end that we're pretty level, especially when we're in a vertical tillage program, to make sure that we can come in here in the spring and get this level back up. So I like to make sure my primary tillage tool for corn on corn has some leveling devices on the back. So this particular tool has these paddles here that do the initial level, leveling. And then the last thing on here is actually this roller. This roller is controlled with hydraulic pressure, so I'm actually running constant down pressure with hydraulics on this roller. And you can see behind me then, it's a pretty smooth surface coming out of a corn-on-corn -corn situation here. 